Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active sky, and boy, is it active for you in particular. I do think of all the months of this year, this is going to be a standout time because what is happening is so important for you. And so first, early in the month, about right around the fourth of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, we will have a new moon in your sign. Now, this is one of the more favorable new moons that I have seen in a while, based on how it is connecting with other power players in the sky. First, communicating in harmony with Neptune, and then speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn and with Pluto. This is energy that is all about you starting fresh, feeling inspired, feeling hopeful, but also your life changing in very tangible and practical ways. You may be trying for something new or a new opportunity very near and dear to your heart could present itself to you. And based on your own effort, your ability to demonstrate that you have the skills, the strength, the experience that you need to make the most of this moment, you are able to excel. But in some ways, it really is only the beginning. Uh, we are going to have within days of this new moon, Mercury entering your sign and immediately connecting with Uranus in the sky. Right in the middle of the month, Venus will enter your sign, coming home to your sign. And again, almost immediately connecting with Uranus in the sky as well. This makes for a month of tremendous insights and developments and leaps forward that truly matter to you, heart and mind and soul. The important thing here, especially considering how active Uranus is gonna be in your sign, is to stay open to surprises because they actually could end up going much better than anything you could have planned for yourself. It may seem on the surface uh, like it makes you take a little bit of a step back or a little bit unsure, but it is in being willing and being open that you're truly able to grab on to different moments and different experiences and excel with the opportunities that could just land in your lap. With Mercury so active this month, it is important for you uh, to make sure that you are staying connected, whether that's in the online world or with your smartphone, whatever the case may be, because some of what surprises you and delights you uh, literally could come as a result of uh, our new technologies that have become so common in the world today. And whatever it is that does show up, it looks to make uh, you leap inside in the best possible sense. When Venus enters your sign, it really is the sense of homecoming. It's like something within you feels more connected, feels like it's coming together. And you add to that connection with Uranus. Well, it affirms to me that much more that life could change dramatically. It could change very fast this month, but ultimately leap you in a direction that feels right and that feels like it truly aligns with your truest desires. As we navigate further into the month, right around the 18th, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, that's when we will have this month's full moon. And this full moon is taking place in your opposite sign. Now, the main connection this full moon is making is standing across the sky from Mercury in your sign. But there's also a connection, not as strong a connection, but there is a connection that you can tap into, which is a harmonious connection with Pluto as well. And given that this is happening in your opposite sign and given that Venus is gonna be in your sign, well, it looks like in the second half of the month, love is coming very much into the picture and is going to be an important focus for you. It does look like there are going to be some interesting interactions at the very least, some back and forth that is designed to help you to understand yourself better and see yourself differently as well. With Venus in your sign, it makes it that much easier to attract love and other beautiful experiences into your life. With this full moon in your opposite sign, it does tend to indicate that someone is there 
to help you to understand yourself in a way that only attraction and partnership can bring. So for those of you open to meeting someone new, it is this full moon and Venus in your sign that does set up one of the best moments of the year to connect with someone new. At the very least with the full moon, you'll be able to see where you are more clearly and to be more honest with yourself as a result of perhaps a conversation, uh, an online interaction, uh, some sense of connecting with another person on a level of mind is able to help you to understand uh, what's happening with you on a level of heart. But then you add to this, of course, Venus being in your sign, it just makes love that much easier to show up for you. And there's not a whole lot you need to do when Venus is in your sign to allow new opportunities where it comes to matters of love. For those of you just getting to know someone, if you're dating somebody uh, at the very beginning stages in particular, well, it is gonna be this full moon and Venus meeting Uranus right under the light of the full moon that's going to help you to understand whether or not this person is long-term material, whether or not you truly feel an authentic connection with them or not. If you do, then this can be a time of very quick developments that solidify the bond. If you don't, then this can be a time where very quickly you realize you're ready to change course. And for those of you who are in an established bond, what an important time of uh, perhaps a spontaneous conversation arising, but it ultimately in some way clears the air, helps the two of you to understand each other more. A full moon in your opposite sign does tend to bring with it a sense of renewal, a sense of connection, and a real sense of hope of what could be possible for the two of you now and going forward. What I love about this month for you, well look, if I had to pick, I would say the fact that Venus is entering your sign is a big deal. This happens about once a year or so, and when it does, it sets up a really nice period of time where it feels as if you're able to bring forward qualities within yourself that you like, and you're able to attract based on it. It's also a really good time to make any kind of changes that you would like to make, uh, where it comes to things like new wardrobe, new hair color, or anything more permanent as well, having Venus in your sign. And just Venus in your sign in general tends to be really good for this. But yes, when Venus is in your sign, it makes it that much more likely that any changes you make will lead to results that you really do like. But I actually feel that some of the best things that transpire for you this month are just gonna come out of nowhere. They will take you by surprise and absolute delight. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to nadiashaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.